These two grown men were doing TikTok dances the other day in front of Tim Hortons. I was deeply disturbed. And it was then I realized I'm no longer in the same realm of existence I was born into. I have fallen to a lower dimension. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I think I had a pretty auspicious birth. I was born in Canada in the 90s when its HDI was beating Switzerland. I mean, now it's dropped a couple dozen positions, but I don't know what we did to deserve all of this. I could see the look in their eyes, glazed with the high of dopamine, chasing the dopamine dragon for all it's worth. I tried to make eye contact with them, but I think the inner shame prevented them from looking at any other adult males in the vicinity. I don't blame them though, because sinking that low for clicks, likes, and that sweet, sweet dopamine has just about rendered you free of your former position within humanity. I think they should remake Idiocracy, but I think TikTok needs to have a bigger feature in the film. They should have screens everywhere just kicking... <laughs> They should just have screens everywhere of people getting kicked in the balls over and over again on TikTok. And then heart-like emojis fluttering on screen every time it happens. You know, I work a blue-collar job and I work with a lot of Gen Xers, Millennials, you know, hard-type guys. And during my brief respite from my wage slaving during the day. I want to go in the lunchroom and have a bit of a relax. But every time I'm in there, I am disturbed by the noise of, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. While grown men are grunting, laughing at some idiotic short or TikTok video. Blue collar men are watching TikTok now, religiously. And every time I see one of my coworkers doing this, I just can't, I can't look at them in the eye anymore. Cause I know, I know they've been possessed by the demonic dopamine spirit of the algo. Yes, the demonic algo, I try the algo. And it could smell the white trash on me because it kept sending me ATV and Carpentry Square videos. It's pretty sad that kids are allowed to watch TikTok despite there being numerous studies showing that it lowers their IQ, their performance, gives them anxiety and depression, but these parents are still fine with it, you know? I guess parenting is too much to do these days, too much to ask for while they themselves are on TikTok watching God knows what. They need to let their kids be raised by some chai com algorithm. These goddamn chai coms are ruining the children with their algo. As AJ would say. No, we're definitely no longer ascending into 5D. We are going low, 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 low down to about 1D, because that's the amount of IQ points we're all going to fucking have by the end of this century. I just hope and pray that one specter of pocket of humanity will survive this horrendous spiral we're on, and they'll be able to break off into a different species and then go to war with the TikTok creatures and then reclaim the freaking Earth from these entities. I think that's our only hope, is that we have to break off at a genetic level from the TikTok people. Maybe we will split down genetic lines. You know, I'll never stoop that low to create content on TikTok. I just, I can't agree with the concept of making a 30 second video. It's like, why would I even bother at that point? If you, if you can say your, your whole spiel about life in 30 seconds, why should I even bother listening to a goddamn thing you have to say? You know, there's conspiracy TikTok. It's a whole, I, I don't even, I've seen like the people on the YouTube make it. You know, I will be a YouTube boomer till I die. YouTube, 
till I die, okay? Now the algorithm on YouTube sucks. And there's shorts everywhere. I wish YouTube would just give us a feature to turn off shorts. Please. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see some thoughts on a podcast getting hashtag owned by some freaking enlightened centrists, some red pill guru guy. I don't ever want to see Rolo Tomasi's face in my short feed again. Just stop. Please save me from this. I don't understand it. You know, George Orwell once said that the future of humanity will be a boot stomping on a face for all eternity. And people were like, oh man, that's genius. He was absolutely wrong. The future of humanity is grown men with glazed over eyes dancing to TikTok videos in parking lots. Okay, that is a million... <laughs> Times worse than George Orwell's prediction. That is just dystopian to the max. No, I believe that this TikTok is, it's a sign of the end times. Let's be real. It's the third seal of the apocalypse. We're not here for much longer, okay? This is not looking good. Like, I made a video about how the world ended 2012, okay? The world's ended 33 times since 2012. Even f in 2019, right? That's when TikTok first kind of exploded. It was late 2018, early 2019. If you were going to tell me <laughs> that I was going to see grown-ass men with dad bods do it like in the dance. The dancers were like the little, you know, like like what the girls do, like, like you know, like tapping their like elbows and their knee. Like it was like weird, like that. It was. I am disturbed by this. I don't. You could probably tell. I want to know your disturbing TikTok IRL stories, but this has deeply um, scarred me because. Yeah, in 2019, you're going to tell me, yeah, there's going to be grown men, you know, your peers, older. They were older than me, definitely. Dancing in Timmy's parking lot for likes and clicks. I would have just walked away and said, no, I don't believe it. I feel like uh, Neil right now, I'm, I'm, I, you know, when uh, Morpheus told me... <laughs> the true nature of the reality of the world. I feel like I'm going to pop. Yeah, that's why I'm just out here in the, in the woods, no maxing, just trying to get as far away as possible. I'm pretty far. It's just, it still doesn't seem far enough. I don't want neighbors for like five clicks. I just need to get to that point in my life. <clears throat> because, you know, I'm still pretty isolated up here and I don't have a lot of interactions in the city. Or I don't have, like, I don't even want to know what it's like. If I can see people in small town, small town life, dancing in the parking lots, I don't even want to know what's going on down there. I don't even want to know. It's it's just horrendous to think about. Because I remember uh, when I was flying back from Germany. It was the first time I saw a blogger. Like, blogging, vlogging. Vlogging, blogging. It was the first time I saw a vlogger vlogging in public. First time. Ever. Right? And I was just like looking at this guy, he was about like 45, and I was like, there's something really like just <laughs> cringe about this 45 year old guy talking to a camera in the middle of an airport. Like I can only talk to a camera in the middle of nowhere and I still don't feel comfortable about it. 
But these, this guy's just, you know, riffing about everything in the middle of the freaking airport, blah, blah, blah. Filming people. Filming other people. Just no shame. Hey, I'm going to put you in my video. I'm not even going to tell you about it, by the way. Probably film me for frick's sakes. Weirdo. Yeah. No, because, uh, you know, I talk to boomers sometimes, some based boomers, and I'm like, you know, what was it like? You know, oh, fuck. Back in my day, we had a fucking ice truck would come. And that's how we had a refrigeration was from the ice truck. I says, I says. And I'm like, wow. You guys grew up with the freaking ice truck. And now in your old age, there's TikTok adults dancing in the street. Could you imagine? I, I like I have culture shock. And I'm a freaking millennial. You know, a good for nothing, lazy piece of shit millennial. Who ruins everything. And at these I couldn't even imagine being a boomer right now. I couldn't even imagine being a zoomer, you know? Because if you're a Zoomer, like male, you're going to have like societal pressure to do these things and to partake. I would die. I wouldn't make it. I barely made it through my teenage years just by a threat. If I was a Zoomer, there's no way. There's no way. Because, you know, I was... I was watching all those, you know, freedom movement, truth movement videos when I was like 14. I was already like waking up. But if I was a Zoomer, you wouldn't even be able to find it. They've all been censored. They're all gone. The only algorithm you have now is totally controlled, manipulated, or TikTok algorithm, which is horrible in its own way. So then, now I'm just out here, gnoming it up, gnome maxing, because, you know, I, uh, I'm just hoping that, again, we break off, humanity splits off, you know, the TikTok line and the true spirit glorious elven ascended being line i think the tiktok people will eventually resemble orcs so i maybe our world will become lord of the rings and it will be a struggle against uh the elves and the orcs which brings me to another thing another point you know, Saruman, he had this seeing stone, and he was using it to see. Well, Denethor also had a seeing stone, and he could see. He could see all things throughout the land. He could see clips, right? It was a black screen that would light up and show him clips in his mind. Okay, Tolkien saw something. I don't know if he saw it in his own life, or he was given some sort of message to relay to us. But I think the Denethor Saruman seeing stone is a, a metaphor for the internet for screens for technology and that these technologies these screens corrupted them these seeing stones corrupted them and we're sending them black pilling messages that corrupted their minds and made them go insane right Sauron was so black pilled that he had to join Sauron because he said there was no other way to victory because he was on the TikTok algorithm and he was being sent videos of grown hobbits 
dancing in front of the Shire, right? You saw a video of Farmer Maggot doing a TikTok dance, and it just corrupted his mind to the point where he's just like, nope, there's no way, right? He saw Bilbo Baggins doing a, a dance in front of the Green Dragon, he just, he, his mind broke. Same with Denethor, he was being sent all these videos of orcs just taking over Gondor. And uh, he thought it was over, so he gave up. Yeah, there's some definite, definite uh, mystical knowledge in Lord of the Rings that have been sent to us. Oh, jeez. Well, anyway, let me know what you think about uh, TikTok and your experience with it. Oh, I wanted to add this too. My friends now, they only communicate to me in shorts. Like they just send me, they don't even talk to me anymore. They just send me shorts. Like we can't, like, I'm trying to have a conversation with my friends and they just keep replying with shorts. What is this? Why? Can we not, can we just communicate without a meme for once in our lives? I'm going to probably use a meme for the thumbnail. I don't even care. I know I'm a hypocrite. But just everything has to be shorts. Everything is shorts. Everything is a short. Dopamine, dopamine. Give me my sweet, sweet fix of dopamine. Because our brains are rotting at a rapid rate. And that's the only thing that's keeping it going at this point is that next hit. But yeah. It's sad, but it's, it is what it is. You know, you just have to step back and watch. And ascend down the elven path. And watch everybody else. Just watch it happen. They will just devolve into an orc-like being. 